New action is being taken for patients across our state left with mountains of medical debt. It seems they thought they signed up for health insurance. But they say they ended up with something that won't pay the claims. Carol 7 Steedy Sun spoke with a cancer patient in Kirkland who is being forced to max out credit cards to cover treatment. Brad Fuller is done with chemotherapy. I got my girlish figure back, okay? But the impact from throat cancer means he still needs a feeding tube. Every morning I do the insurance. He pours about six bottles of this stuff straight into his stomach every day. I wish I could eat again. The That's fight for his health is only part of his trouble. He's also still battling with Alara Healthcare. Boom, they're just like. He was looking for affordable health insurance after retiring last year when he says Alira found him. They called me out of the blue and this guy was, hey, here's a fresh one. He, uh, he needs insurance. And signed up for what he thought was health insurance. A few months later, Brad started having health problems, teeth and jaw pain, and then one night... I went over to the vanity and I kept spitting more blood. He drove himself to the ER at Evergreen Hospital and says that night he almost died. Had internal bleeding. That's where the blood was coming from. The problem? A tumor. He stuck the telescope through my sinus and said, you got cancer. Then he got dealt another blow. And they told me, well, your insurance doesn't cover you for cancer. The bill he got for a week's stay in the hospital, more than $100,000. The paperwork shows Alara's payout for the claim is $0. This impacts a lot of people in our area. More than 3,000 people across the state have signed up with Alara. Stories like Brad's and dozens of others have led them to file complaints with the Washington State Insurance Commissioner, Mike Kreidler. We had a bucket full of complaints that were coming in. The commissioner says the company claims it's not an insurance company. They were trying to be a health sharing ministry. Ministry, which they did not qualify for. Legal health care sharing ministries are nonprofits whose members share ethical or religious beliefs and medical costs. They're also not regulated by the state. What they think is a loophole in the law that allows them to break the law, uh, take advantage of people, take in premium dollar, offer very little in the way of service, but take in lots of money. In May, he filed a cease and desist, ordering Alara to immediately stop selling health insurance illegally and halt deceptive business practices. And in August, the commissioner's office fined Alara $1.1 million and said at the time, What we saw and what we're, we're aware of at this time, it's clearly a scam. Cairo 7 has since talked with a half dozen people who all thought they were signing up for health insurance with Alara, only to have their claims denied. Deny, deny, deny. On a blanket basis. Yes, and they hope that you'll go away. Through a public disclosure request, we got a hold of this training video, where even the speaker calls their service health insurance before quickly correcting himself. We're finally applying health insurance, health care in a market. The insurance commissioner is still investigating whether there is enough evidence to recommend criminal charges against the company with the state's attorney general. And other states are also taking legal action. Colorado and New Hampshire have also filed a cease and desist. Texas has filed a restraining order against the company. Meanwhile, Brad's bills are piling up. They've already sent me to collection, but on one bill. The envelopes say final notice. Now that I got my credit cards maxed out, I'm paying more on them. I'm about tapped out. Pretty soon, I won't have it. Any, I can't do it anymore. He's dropped Alara and signed up for legitimate health insurance, but has a $1,300 monthly premium and struggles with ongoing medical bills. He says the one he has no way to tackle is the one from Alara. I'm hoping that somebody could sue them for me with that, because I don't have a pot to pee in. While investigating this case, Cairo 7 found out law firms in Washington state have filed the first class action lawsuit against Alara. Brad says someone needs to hold the company accountable. As far as fraudulent insurance, why are you getting away with it? Didi Sun, Cairo 7 News. Well, Cairo 7 reached out to Alara requesting a response to the state's allegations and to ask why it denied Mr. Fuller's claim, but we have not yet received a response.